drenched like I jumped in a pool. How you doing? Same. Same? We crushed it! 38.3 miles, 7,638 feet of gain. Good morning! It's the middle of the night. <laughs> no, it's in the morning. 4.34 a.m. arrival for the Taconic Crest Trail. It's raining out there. I know, right it's, it's, it's raining. But, um... We're gonna start on the Massachusetts side. We're gonna be going through two ridge lines back and forth between Massachusetts and New York, and we are going to be ending 37 miles later in, in Vermont. Vermont. <laughs> Three states, one day. Tallest mountain of the day, Berlin Mountain at 8,000. Eight? No! Ah! <laughs> 2,800! And 18 feet tall. I wish we were climbing an 8,000 foot mountain today, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh. Yes, that's the tallest mountain of the day, 2,818 <laughs> feet. But it'll still be a good day. Yes. A long day. Yep. Good day. We got a nice group of seven. It is going to be a beautiful day, possible thunderstorms in the afternoon. We hear it's the most boring of all the eight, but hopefully that we're just more optimistic than most people because I'm hoping to love it. Me too. All we'll right. See you there. Well, see you on the trail. It is just after 5 a.m. Just started about a mile in and just started climbing a little bit. Our All eight of us. <laughs> so far the terrain is really smooth, easy on the feet, beautiful. Lots of birds chirping, it's really pretty out here. Everything's in full bloom right now. How you doing B? I'm a little sweaty and it's really early. I know. I know. Oh wow, look at this. This is beautiful. All right, onward and upward. Four miles in, trail is still beautiful. The forest is filled with ferns. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> You're so awkward. <laughs> wow, beautiful. You're gonna have to go. Absolutely beautiful. Time. Brit, <laughs> what does this remind you of, Brit? Cranberry 50. Cranberry oh, 50, no. baby. Oh, I no. think this is beautiful. No, it's actually beautiful. Look at how green this is. So lush. I'm currently Spider Man though, so I'm taking out all the webs for you. Dude, it's so humid out here. We're both dripping and moist. We're moist like a fresh muffin out of the oven. No. Mile six, two hours in. Doing good. Guys, look at that. <laughs> oh, he's puckering up. He's gonna throw a quill. If they can throw quills? Yes. No. <laughs> no? They you have to touch him, right? Yeah, they yeah. slap you. Wow. Holy crap. Will you be able to get underneath them? <laughs> nice catch. The quills are barred. Yeah, they have really bad ice man. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> All right, so currently passing Berry Pond. Really South pretty. Tower, in the <laughs> oh look, highest natural body of water in Massachusetts. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's, that's... Learn something new. We need a picture of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't see that every day. <laughs> On a road for a few. Actually, not really much. Maybe a half a mile stretch. All right, so we are currently descending Berry Hill and 
We've got a few bushes over here with some flowers, nice and pretty. Eight miles in currently, doing excellent. All right, so after my last vlog, I had a lot of people message me and Brittany about our shoes and socks. Um, we just started wearing these though. We got, we both got compression socks. I got mud gear socks and I got Alto Lone Peak 4s and uh, they're pretty, pretty amazing. They're for a wide toe box. They give your feet a lot of room. And then what do you got? LA Sporty Bobs. What model? The Bushido. The Bushidos? Bushido and what type of socks you got on? Pro compression. Pro compression socks? Makes a difference. Yeah, dude, that makes a great, huge difference. I feel like, you know, the compression socks are designed to reduce fatigue, increase blood flow. And uh, honestly, they, they do what they're supposed to because our legs feel good, really good. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right, here we go. Finally, a little descending. That's not much, but it's something. <laughs> We're doing a little skippy hoppity. Another beautiful section of trail. Yeah, this is amazing. So we're going down the biggest dip of the entire day. And everybody's like freaking flying. It's so green. Beautiful. Got a nice fresh haircut yesterday. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and a new shirt. And a new shirt. Red. Uh, but it's totally great. Everybody's doing fan-freaking-tastic. All right, so currently climbing up Rounds Mountain and what's awesome about the top of Rounds Mountain is we cross over from Massachusetts into New York State. Almost at the summit of Rounds Mountain. It's totally a calf burner. It's just a constant angle. There's not really any steps, like rock steps. But we're like a tenth of a mile away from crossing the state line now. If you like ferns, the Taconic Crest Trail is definitely the trail for you. I'm looking back right now. If you could see it, there's squares square trail markers and right here it's a blue circle we. we are currently crossing the border into new york state whoop whoop hell yeah now we gotta catch up yeah. Yeah. look at this entire field is filled with these really massive ferns standing like three or four foot tall freaking beautiful so about we could see we went off trail a little bit so we are going to bushwhack back across to the path not much elevation gain pretty much just flat and uh, it's moving pretty good but other than that no hiccups everything's going really well <laughs> exactly this adds to the adventure it's a little more fun <laughs> yeah. You're not a true hiker unless you bushwhack once or twice. Bushwhack successful, back on trail. Taking a little break. Fluids, gear changes, drying off, and getting ready to go. 3.8 miles of flat ridge, according to the topographical. So it should be really nice, and flat. About 17 and a half miles in so far, and we are walking through a thick fern field. Yeah, it's like a velociraptor territory over here. Really beautiful out here. Oh, I don't even know if I'm on trail. Yeah, I am. I am. It just feels like you're off trail because it's very thick. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you hear them. Oh yeah, look at all the frogs. Can you hear the frogs? Oh, I thought they were the rocks. <laughs> Alright, not sure if you can really see the angle that we're about to go up, but it is very random and very steep. It's like this pointless hill in the middle of nowhere for no reason. For no apparent reason. 
definitely the steepest part of the whole day so far. 17.5 in. Oh yeah. We are currently on the summit of a nameless peak. At halfway point, at halfway point, we have a bench. Look at this. No, we're pretty much, we're 17.6 miles. Yay! Yeah, that's Billy Cloud Splitter over there. Yeah. Met him on the Seward Range in the rain. Torrential, rain. Torrential downpouring rain in July. But look at this top of this mountain. Just gorgeousness. Absolutely gorgeousness. This is really cool the way this trail is. Beautiful. 19 miles in. Some clouds are blowing over. It's starting to rain a little bit. But the temperature dropped a lot. Now we're not sweating as much. It feels a lot better. Oh. Just passed a massive black bear poop in the middle of the trail. And it's absolutely gorgeous up here. You guys hear that? It's officially raining hard. I thought it was hard before. <laughs> now it's raining. Now it's pouring. It is pouring now. We're getting wet. We're getting soaked now. <sighs> totally soaked. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Onward we go. Everybody I have layers protected. Protected. Yeah. We're getting wet. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're getting wet. We needed a shower to clean off. You hear that? <laughs> totally getting soaked. <laughs> <laughs> See, bar is still oh yeah, drenched, drenched. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much drenched at this point. It's only supposed to be a passing by shower though. It was scheduled for around this time. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna put the GoPro away for a little bit and uh, wait till it dries up a bit. 21 miles in, doing good, going strong. Current status? Completely drenched like I jumped in a pool. How you doing? Same. Same? Same. Same. <laughs> this quick passing by shower is not so quick in passing by after all. I honestly didn't think the rain can get any harder than it already was doing. And now it's like monsoon. <laughs> hey B. Oh my gosh. I know. Puddles in my socks. Oh. <laughs> Woo! oh yeah. Well you look at that. Massachusetts I'm in Massachusetts right now. I'm in New York now. I'm in Massachusetts. I'm in, I'm in New York. I'm in both. <laughs> <laughs> so we're currently about 23 miles in. And these ascents are so long and mild. They're just calf burners, man. The lactic acid's real. Whew. 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 Oh yeah. Oh god. All right, so just got to the top of that last climb I just filmed, and the mountain is called Misery Mountain. Misery Mountain. We are on Misery Mountain. I'm miserable. Yeah, I'm, I'm miserable too, yo. I'm miserable. All right, off to the next one. We are on the top of another big hill, 2,625 feet, and we are on the border of Massachusetts and New York. Yep, 22.1 miles. 
24 and a half miles in, we finally had a change of terrain. Got some evergreens. Oh my gosh, so exciting. And everybody is doing wonderfully. Berlin Mountain, the highest point of the day, 1.6 miles. We still haven't really had a view yet, so hopefully we get a view on Berlin. A long mile up, about 150 more feet until we hit the summit of Berlin, the highest point of the day. Oh, calf burner. So many ops. Oh, for no apparent reason. Oh. Now we are walking over to the summit, which is a little bit through the woods, pretty level at this point, and it just went to an evergreen forest. Total, total scenery change on a fly. Anything can happen. Oh, hey, look, it's a little black toad. <laughs> Tons of herbs. Tons of herbs out here. All yeah. the wood smell. Yeah, oh my gosh, it smells so good out here. Look at it, this is the most pines we've seen this entire day. It's beautiful. It's almost as beautiful as the views we're getting. All right, we are here at Berlin Mountain Summit. Highest point of the day, 2,818 feet. The only view of the entire Taconic Crest Trail. The only view on the entire trail. Billy, did you see the time? <laughs> Told you! <laughs> Woo -hoo! The only view. Oh, we are here. Oh, snack Woo time. Woo! It's snack time. High five, Iron Berlin. <laughs> yeah, baby. Highest point, 8,000 yeah. feet. Yeah. Do I make it to 8,000? Feels like 8,000. We've been climbing. Break time. So we are finally doing a big descent off Berlin, which it felt like we were on a ridge forever. So it's pretty steep. That's straight in front of me. And uh, we have a stash car down there for water refill ups, and that will be mile 30 of the 37. So we are getting really close. All right, current status, 30 miles, killing it. So a nice little scenic overlook at mile 31. Oh, this is the best overlook of the whole day. Woo. Oh yeah. Look at that. Would you just look at that? Right there under our nose, we almost passed it. Nice. Very nice. Windy up here. Woo! Okay, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> trees out here are huge. It's beautiful. The whole time, I mean, we're 32 miles in right now. Pretty much what I could tell you about the Taconic Crest Trail is the trail conditions are flawless. They're smooth. They're, you don't really have to worry about anything other than just a lot of ups and downs. Super smooth though, easy on the feet. So just want to mention something that I didn't mention earlier. Um, there is no water on this trail to filter at all whatsoever the entire way. So there are two road crossings throughout the entire thing where you could stash a car or water or something. Um, we started in Massachusetts. Our first car drop was at 14 miles. We refilled our water. And then at mile 30, we had another car to refill our water again. So if you're going to come out here and do this and you don't have stash cars, you got to make sure you have enough water for 37 miles because I probably went through 250 ounces already. It's a hot day, but yes. yeah, it's a hot day. Still. So make sure you have water, make sure you're prepared for a 37 mile hike with no filtering availability at all whatsoever. All right, the snow hole, 1.5 miles ahead. 
we hear that there's a possibility that there could be snow still in the snow hole. Stay tuned. Nice little tunnel. All right. I do believe this is our last scenic overlook of the day. We're at, I think, about 34 miles. Beautiful. Feeling good. Yes. Feeling good. Yes. Ah! Oh, That's beautiful. a good one, though. That's a good it's one. beautiful. All right, everybody's in boogie mode now. We're going to catch up. Mile 34. A little bit of climbing. It's probably last climb of the day. And, I mean, the mountain just drops off straight down but feeling it all right so we just got to the top of this and it is called bald mountain this is the last mountain of the day and we only have like four four and a half miles out to the car now We are on this cool little ridge, man. Look at it. It is windy. Woo! This breeze feels incredible. Oh. Oh, are you trail running? Did I just catch you trail running? Gravity. Gravity. Uh. Uh. Guess what? Boom. 35 miles. Three more to go. All of us are still hiking strong, if not stronger than we've been hiking all day, because now we have that, like, car high. Hi. Car, yeah, we're gonna, we have that last push high. So we're flying now. I think we're back to like 18, 20 minute mile at least. Just another pretty video worthy section. <laughs> now we're trail running out a little bit. <sighs> Making some seriously good time. <sighs> wow. Look at that. This is officially the last scenic over point. Overlook of the day. Two miles from the car. Woo, yeah, baby. Hey, B. How you feel to be on the 1.5 mile home stretch? I'm so excited. Yes. Straight ahead. We are uh, going down a pretty steep section right now. Major slippage. Oh, yeah. This is not good terrain to go down. Oh, one mile from the car. One mile. Oh yeah, baby. Brandy, how far till we get to the car? Ten minutes. Point five. Half a mile. Point five. No more descent. Just high grass. And we're done. It's gonna be like thirty-eight point something miles. I'll let you know when we get back to the car. <laughs> nice Tarzan vine here. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't want to swing on that. I'll probably break loose. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the car is right around the corner. Man, this shit got thick. It's like bushwhacking. You gotta trim the bushes. Someone's gotta come here and Get the weed whacker. All right, back at the car. 38.3 miles, 7,638 feet of gain. Moving time, three hours and 34 minutes. We did it! Woo! We crushed it. Another one bites the dust. Woo! Signing out.